game meant in terms of where we're at. I know there's a lot of basketball left, but when that game is at about a minute and a half, and then the way it winds up, uh, just your feelings on the whole thing. My feelings are pretty good. <laughs> uh, I mean, it was a big game. Um, it, it was a big game. Uh, and, you know, I, I like the way our guys kept fighting. You know, there was a lot of adversity coming from a lot of different angles uh, throughout the game. And, and I like the way we just kept fighting, kept plugging. Um, and, and we had some, I mean, you look at, look at, in the locker room there, every single person made a play, a winning play to help us win this game. Every single person sitting in that locker room made a play. Uh, and that's that's how we have to be. Uh, and then at the end of the day, number four is number four. John, defensively, they're the crazy number one three-point shooting team in the conference. You hold them to 19%. What was, what was working in that department? I think our guys were very attentive in the scouting report the last couple of days. I mean, they 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 are a, a powerful offensive team. You know, they share the game. Uh, they have different offensive weapons. They have a nice combination of interior and exterior. But I thought our guys did a good job for, for most of the game. For most of the game of 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 staying tight and and helping each other on on Watson's penetration. But then knowing I have to really run out as hard as I can. Uh, and not go for the pump face. We got in trouble a couple of times. We close out, didn't have a handle of the ball, and so went for the pump face. Um, but I just thought we were attentive. And then, I mean, they missed some shots that they normally make. Talk about denying uh, 10 down the stress, I guess within the last two minutes or so, and trapping him on the catch. Do you think that energized your team? It, without a doubt. No, we had to do something. I'm not sure. Next, what did you say we were down? Uh, down 11 with 223 left. Um, you know, so we had to do something. Denying him is not easy, uh, so it's not. You know, some people say, "Oh, go deny him." Okay, but you know, it's it's. We wanted to get the ball out of his hands and and see if we can make someone else make a play, um, and it was effective. We had the one key play. Devontae had a big steal. Obviously, Caleb had a big steal. <coughs> Marcus down in the corner in front of their bench, and LJ uh, came up with big steals. And our guys at that point were in scramble mode. It's just they were relying on their instincts to make plays. Thank you for that. Uh, John, after you foul them, 23 seconds left, you missed those two free throws. You, got, you didn't call timeout um, at that point. What was what was your thinking at that moment to let Devontae just take the ball? Well, we one we thought they ended up changing defenses. Actually, um, they went to a one-three-one right there in the last couple of possessions. And and most importantly, I don't think we had any time. I, I just <laughs> okay. it, it was a little hectic on presser also. Second row, Paul. Um, you got uh, you got uh, you guys forced ten Creighton turnovers and all ten of them were steals. What were you guys able to do? Not only force turnovers, but make sure you kept possession and were able to run the fast break. <laughs> I'll be honest, I'm not sure that was part of the game plan. <laughs> um, uh, you know, we just came up with the ball at the end. We just came up with the ball. They don't turn the ball over. They don't make mistakes. Watson does not make mistakes. Uh, he just doesn't. So we're fortunate that at that very last possession, he just fouled out. Devontae drew a foul on him. You know, because we're sitting there, it's like six seconds left, and if that little kid's in there, who knows what could happen. Third row, Jeff. Devontae, just take us through that last play there. It seemed like you guys were kind of running around a bit, and you kind of calmed everyone down and said, you know, I got this in the uh, I mean, I just knew we needed, you know, plays to be made, and, you know, he didn't call a timeout. He didn't, uh, you know, try to draw up anything. You know, he trusted me. I wanted to come through. Second round, Jake Foster. Coach, uh, seven points for Devontae in the last 92 seconds, five or six from the line. Have you checked his veins for ice water? <laughs> and uh, on a team where a lot of guys are up and down this winter, how huge is it to have a rock like him? We checked his veins three years ago, and so haven't had to go back and check. That's, he makes plays. Uh, and, and what you know, the world didn't see, I came up with one of those TV timeouts. You know, but we're in a timeout, and... and, and, and coming to the timeout, he's telling everyone, calm down, we're going to win. Calm down, we're going to win. You know, it's one of those things where you're frustrated with how things are going, uh, and he's calming everyone down, and then goes out and makes the plays to make us win. And so, um, I mean, he's one of the best in the country. He's one of the best in the country. If you're coming down to the end, I'm going with him. Rogers, this has always been a team that stressed defense, and to be able to do what you guys did in the last two and a half minutes, and then... What's your feelings standing on the free throw line there with 6.2, whatever it was to go? I mean, just to make.
make it. I, really didn't, I didn't really think about it too much. I mean, I shoot every day. Uh, you know, my teammates, you know, instilled the confidence in me to know down the stretch, you know, you got to make the plays. So, and that's what I wanted to do. Second one, Paul. Uh, Caleb, what were you able to do at the end of the, uh, at the end of the game? Crucial play there. Got the steal for Watson, dunked that. What were you What were you seeing? Did you Were you able to anticipate his movements? Did you get the jump on him? No, I just knew I had to make a play. And um, I did. Yeah. You know, just defensively for you guys, particularly in the last two minutes when you really needed, can you just talk about the intensity you had there and able to turn them over and get some key stops? Well, like Coach said, we was in scramble mode, and uh, we knew we we had this was a big game and we needed to win. So uh, I think we all came together and made some big plays down the stretch. Coach Isaac's been struggling recently scoring, and today he responds with career highs and rebounds and assists. Can you talk about his impact for your team going forward? That that's what he has to do, and what I mean is, you know, he can't. And we've had this discussion. He can't label himself just as a scorer or a shooter and decide he's in a rut or a funk because he's not scoring or shooting the ball well. Uh, what he did today, I mean, he he has to do other things, and he's capable of, and he's good at doing other things. I mean, so we need him not not to worry about the, the scoring. And that's not saying, oh, we I don't want Isaac Copeland to score. But seven assists, ten boards, a couple of deflections. Just play the whole game. Play the whole game. Today he went out from the very beginning and made a concerted effort to play the whole game. Even as, as he's been in this, whatever you want, however you want to describe it, it's been mostly just been jump shot after jump shot after jump shot. And you see, right early on, he drove and got an and one. Um, you know, a couple, couple other times he went in there. I can't remember. He might have made one. Might have missed another one in the second half. But he wasn't just living and dying on my jump shot. And he's talented enough and skilled enough where he, he can he can have these games where he's got the assists, the rebounds, the steals, the deflections, the communication on defense. And if he keeps doing that, the offense will come. Ben? John, you said earlier that this was a big game. Obviously, all these big East games are just to varying degrees. But what for you, you specifically made this feel like it was a big game for you guys? Because it was the one that was today. <laughs> <laughs> they all are big. I mean, they all are big. If you look at... Are we at the halfway point of the league yet? Is this the halfway one point? Game. So that is the halfway yeah. point. I mean, you're not quite at the halfway point. And if you look at our league, which is the most difficult league in the country, um, everyone's good. Everyone can beat everyone, top to bottom. And so every every game is the big game. Um, um, you know, coming off a loss to Connecticut on Saturday, it's, it's your next game. It's a big game, every game. Saturday, Saturday's going to be a big game. He went small with 33 to close the first half. He was impactful. Talk about how he, he you know, he helped your team in this victory. That was nice, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Yeah. <laughs> it was great <Yeah>. coaching. <laughs> no, BJ and Jesse had foul trouble. Uh, we put Trey in there, um, and, and, and it's kind of like the exact same vein of what we're talking about with Isaac just now. Trey scored four or six points, I forget. You know, but he had a block, I think. He had a big rebound. Uh, he, he had some good defensive possessions. Where I don't think he got a steal, but he was dancing around there in the post and tipped it, and someone else came up with it. And so it was good to see him not just going in here. All of us know those shots he made, he, he makes. I mean, he makes. He's just going to make those shots. But I was glad to see him do other things, do other things. Uh, we went right back with him in the second half. Um, and then again at the end of the game, um, and he stepped up. He stepped up. He came through. When, he's, when the number's called, you know, he's not one. He's one of the hardest workers we have on our team in terms of being in the gym, putting in extra time, being in the weight room, putting in extra work. And so um, he's prepared to have success when he gets in there. Jim. Hey, Devontae, what were you and the team in general able to do to kind of make Maurice Watson a little bit uncomfortable down the stretch? He had his points and assists, but also six turnovers. Uh, just try to close out on him, uh, you know, make him make plays over the top of the defense rather than, you know, uh, driving by us or letting him get open looks. Um, I mean, it's tough to contain somebody who's, you know, 100 miles per hour all the time. So um, he, he's definitely, you know, one of the toughest guards in our conference. And, you know, I think we did a good job with him today. And he doesn't make mistakes. I mean, it's, he has six turnovers. I got to go back. I know I can remember two of them at the end there, but, but film in game.